I have an important announcement to make. I'm still pregnant. Now I know you expected me to come on here and be ah ah ow baby ow blah 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 but no it hasn't happened yet. I'm currently 39 weeks pregnant and I'm starting what I'm hoping to be my birth vlog. I don't know what this vlog is going to consist of yet. Oh sorry hiccups. However I didn't want to just jump straight in when I'm in labour. I wanted to give myself a bit of an intro so then if I do just jump straight in and it's all a little bit messy and chaotic you will understand it a little bit more because right now even though this is going up so everything has already happened which is wild to me, absolutely wild. Currently it's all up in the air and I have no idea what's going to happen but I thought I'd just discuss like a few symptoms and stuff that I have had just in case that it is relevant to me going into labour because I really really want to do my best to document this as best as I possibly can so I actually made a TikTok this morning explaining a few symptoms that I've had one of them I've lost my mucus plug like over the course of weeks and weeks and weeks but bigger bits are starting to come out and then last night I went to the toilet in the dark so I didn't see and then I went to the toilet again with the light on like every other normal person in the world and I saw like um kind of like pinky brownish reddish maroon kind of colour discharge in my underwear well I don't know if it was discharge or not it was just like stained so what I said in that tiktok was I could just be making this whole thing up and it could actually just be like <laughs> A bit of sweaty tan. Oh, no. Then my tan has been washed off for days and days. Like my tan isn't fresh. So I don't really understand how that could be the case. Also, I said in my TikTok, I don't tan my flaps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like who, who does that? I don't go anywhere near there. So I don't really know what else it could be unless I'm like bleeding from somewhere else i don't really know but anyway that happened so that could have been some sort of like bloody show that i, I wasn't aware of we're never gonna know we're never gonna know but last night i literally got like no sleep i was so so hot i was literally sweating like the whole night i'm laid there every night expecting my waters to pop because they spontaneously broke with alfie and i remember i was in bed and they just went and that was it they were gone and that was that was the beginning i have refused a sweep that i have like i have a midwife appointment coming up this wednesday and i was told i could have a sweep i would have been 39 plus four and i refused that That's because i don't really feel the need i don't really feel the need to have it i feel like she'll come when she comes i'm pretty happy doing a few like actual inductions at home you know taking my raspberry leaf tea not that did anything for me last time but a girl can hope and pray a girl can hope and pray when and walked with Charlie yesterday for literally like, oh, we did like some curb walking and stuff two days ago. And then yesterday I went walking around with him and Alfie. And then Alfie fell asleep in the pram. So we were just like, oh, should we just carry on walking? And I ended up doing, oh, sorry. Oh my Jesus Christ. We ended up doing around 6,000 steps, which let me just clarify. Yes, 6,000 steps to the average person. Not a fat lot, is it? Not a fat lot when you are 39 weeks pregnant let me tell you my legs felt like breadsticks that had been snapped in half stood on by a two-year-old toddler aka mine so you know that's that <laughs> oh i felt like a crumbling breadstick and although it's supposed to be the best thing for you that alongside ball bouncing is just the absolute biggest ball ache no pun intended absolute biggest bane of my life ever i hate doing both of them i hate exercise and i just want to sit on my ass all day every day but i know to get things moving and to get things going that that is the best thing to do anyway i'm going to stop rambling on now this is the start of my birth vlog the next clip you will see hopefully will be the start of my labor whatever happens with that whether it is random contractions on and off whether it is that my waters have broke whether it is full-blown active labor i don't know i have no idea what this is going to consist of yet i just thought that i would give you guys a nice little intro oh i'm so scared i don't think anyone actually understands how scared i am but anyway yeah let the pain begin I'm so nervous to even say this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. So I was gonna come on and film this morning anyway, 
um, because yesterday I went out with my mum to lunch. Well, I had my midwife appointment yesterday. Let me let me start from the beginning. I'm just making Alfie some breakfast, by the way. I had a midwife appointment yesterday, and I could have had a sweep on yesterday, and I would have been 39 plus four, which I declined. And she did all the normal checks and everything, and she said that the baby's head is extremely low, but towards the back of me so i'm probably gonna have like i'm probably gonna feel a lot of pressure in my bum um and i said yeah definitely and then after that appointment everything was absolutely fine she was like you're really chill aren't you and i was like yeah honestly i'm just kind of prepared to go until she's ready and then i went out for lunch with my mum and the whole time i was out i felt loads more pressure like tons more pressure than i felt like down below any other time let me just get Alfie's berries out yesterday when I got back from being out with my mum Charlie came home from work and I kept saying to him like I feel like I'm having tightenings like really really mild contractions I was like I I just feel different and I said to him I was like my instincts are just telling me that I feel different but I was like I don't want to say it because I don't want to sound stupid in case like I go like two weeks over but I was like oh I could just be in like really early labour for like over a week or something um because I know that a lot of women that happens too and he was like oh knowing your instincts you'll have the baby tonight and I was like no I was like I don't think I'll have the baby tonight but I was like things are definitely happening like my body does feel different and he was like yeah and then I went to bed and everything was fine. Like I slept through everything. And then I woke up this morning with a little bit of pressure in my bum. And I was like, oh my God, I think I need a poo. <laughs> so that's why I didn't pick up the camera yet. Because I was like, oh, maybe like the pressure is literally just me being constipated from how much I ate yesterday. Because obviously I went for lunch and I, I went to Bill's with my mum and had like a huge meal. So I was like, it's probably the fact that I've just eaten an absolute ton. And it's like caused me to be constipated. And then... This morning I got up absolutely fine, no issues, having a cup of tea, having toast. And then Alfie woke up, I got him out of his cot, he's just sat down, and I could just I can still feel this like mild cramp and like mild pressure. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. And I sat on my ball for literally five minutes and just did a few hip circles and I can really feel the pressure when I do that. So I did that and then I went to the toilet just then and I'm pretty sure that is my entire plug with blood that has gone um, and that is that is the first time that that has happened like where I actually physically saw blood in it um I thought that had happened the other day I'm not sure if I explained that but I saw a little bit of blood in my underwear the other day um well I thought it was blood anyway so really thought that it had happened the other day but then there was no there was nothing else like I didn't physically see like I can't explain it. This was just different. This was just very different. I knew 100% what it was. And that just proves to me that things are definitely starting to happen because I wouldn't have felt like that yesterday for my plug to then fall out. I'm 39 plus 5 today. And my due date is literally in two days. It's the 1st of August. Well, so my due date's 3rd of August, but it's the 1st of August today. I wasn't actually planning on doing anything today. I was going to take healthy, like over the park don't know if i'm going to do that now just in case my waters break i might just kind of stay active at home and carry on as normal but i know that these things can either progress quite quickly or you can be in labor for days and days and days and days and days like slow labor for days um so i don't know this could be the start of something i could be updating you later with like proper contractions or like tonight or something or I could be coming back to you in a week's time saying, you know, lost my plug, nothing else happened. The only thing that's making me a little bit more like maybe this will happen is the fact that this is my second baby. If this was my first, I probably wouldn't be so... Well, I would be more worried probably because I hadn't had a baby before, but I'd be more like, don't usually happen as quick with your first baby. So who knows? But I just thought that I would start off because I literally filmed the intro to this video like two days ago, three days ago or something. Um, and it's been quite a quick turnaround. And I definitely feel like mild period cramps and like, you know, I definitely was contracting yesterday. I wasn't making it up, but I'm, my plan is to kind of just carry on as normal as I possibly can for as long as I possibly can. 
only issue that I have is that I don't really want to be like on my own so I don't really want to like I want to carry on as normal and like go for a walk and stuff but I don't want to go out with Alfie on my own in case something happens so I think I'm probably just going to wait until later once Alfie goes to bed well it's meant to be like thunderstorms and lightning tonight which is really annoying but um if that doesn't happen or whatever then I might just go on like a little slow walk just to get things a little bit moving but I'm also trying to relax as much as possible and let my body do its thing because you need to preserve energy which I found out last time <gasps> I didn't do a very good job of because well I ended up having literally like a three day labour so let's manifest that that doesn't happen anyway yeah I've just done Alfie some toast strawberries blackberries and all that and I will come with you I will come back to you guys with an update as soon as I have one but at the moment it's almost go time guys I know it I know it <laughs> okay same day 20 past four um nothing has really happened majorly apart from just like random irregular sort of contractions every now and then they're all losing tiny bits of mucus but nowhere near to the extent of like this morning when i lost that huge bit my mum's been around a fair bit of today to help me with alfie i've just been feeling like super tired like i just feel like i could go for that so i think i definitely think it's my body's way of like preserving energy for what's about to come I'm going to be really shocked if this doesn't happen tonight or tomorrow, especially tonight because of just how I've been feeling, or if you can hear the trucks. <laughs> I just feel very weird, like I can't explain it. I felt very strange all day, just a little bit like dysphoric and yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sat in the towel just in case my water's break but oh, i can't stop me oiling. but yeah i do get random really random really irregular surges that aren't very painful but they're something and the pressure that i feel when i go and sit on the toilet is insane it's literally insane um so yeah this could be the start of something new feels so right to be pushing a baby out but yeah i just feel like i really need a nap but i'm gonna hold off and see if i can just go to bed early in case anything happens in the night so then if anything does happen in the night then at least i've had a few hours sleep um because if i nap now then i know that i probably won't sleep all night so <gasps> are you excited to be a big brother Where's the baby? When's the baby coming? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the baby coming? Yeah. Is the baby coming tonight? Yeah. Is the baby coming tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, she's coming tonight and tomorrow. Okay. Words of wisdom there. Words of wisdom. say this before I can't actually talk because that's not probably gonna be that long <laughs> so it's 6 55 on the 2nd of August my due date is tomorrow <sighs> so I'm 39 plus 6 <sighs> yeah, shit's happening <laughs> for sure I lost literally all of my mucus plug um, about half four this morning I went to bed at half nine last night so I've had like a pretty full night's sleep I've been up since half four irregularly contracting on and off I've actually just had some peanut butter toast and it was really nice but I'm finding that when I sit down the pain is like way worse I'm just kind of standing up pacing it I want a cup of tea but I'm scared I'm gonna have a contraction halfway through and then yeet it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and paracetamol. 
the wave comb. I haven't used either of them yet. I'm trying to go as long as I can without anything. But I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go, how quick this is. <sighs> gonna progress. Can you turn the shit off? I don't want to listen to classical FM while I'm contracting. I think the bit that I'm dreading is actually the car to the hospital because I was sitting down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I've just messaged my mum, like when I spoke to my mum, and she said, like, she'll get ready and let me know when she's coming to get Alfie. Obviously, Alfie's still fast asleep. Mm. Um, you might have to get him, like, fairly early, though, just because I need to concentrate. Mm. And obviously, I can't concentrate on him and concentrate on me. Shit's happening. I reckon I reckon it's gotta to be today. Like later. Yeah, it's gotta be. If not, it will be early hours. Are you excited to have a baby? I'm very excited to have a baby, yes. <laughs> Were you happy with the fact I woke you up at half six? Yeah, it's well half uh, four, so. That's true. You're still working. Yeah, no, it's just to hand stuff over and turn the bits off. Can't even do my tools. I wonder if my bottles will go or not. No, maybe. I think I've lost like all my plug. If I've got any more, I don't, I don't know how I'd have any more left. Little bear. Mm. He does. Has no idea that his mum is internally dying. You can do it on yours, whatever. I won't even take a working really well we've come to my mum's because my mum's is closer to the hospital where me and charlie live is 45 minutes from the hospital but it made sense for us to come here so alfie can play with my mum and everything charlie can support me and then we're closer to the hospital if needs be but the pain guys it's a lot it's 10 a.m um but i'm still feeling good I've lost a load of mucus again. I keep losing tons and tons and tons. So I'm just gonna try and chill. Go in the garden and chill out. It's go time. I can't believe it. <laughs> what did you say I'm having? Three in? Three in 10 minutes. I'm asking about a minute, two minutes apart. I think we're in labor, guys. Just gonna try and call the hospital. See what happens. I just don't want to look an idiot. So how's in general? Um Prince of Sam.
Um, no, I can't resume um, labour with any sort of tiny sort of contractions or anything through the app. It's just to, yeah, to be like. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just when they when they come, they <laughs> they come. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm alright to talk at, at the moment. <laughs> um, I lost my mucus plug yesterday morning. Um, and then I had like really dull, irregular pain then. And then I lost it more of it with blood as well. Um, this morning, it wasn't it wasn't very fresh. It was more like mixed in with like a bit like a bit stringy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I slept last night. Fine. Yeah, they half half four. I woke up with the mucus plug and then started then, but very irregular, very few and far between. Um, and then it's been since the last what, hour. Hour. Yeah. Um. They come like three. Is it three and ten minutes? I've been having yeah, three to four and ten minutes. minutes. Every lasting about thirty to forty seconds. Um, I haven't taken anything yet. I've just I've just been using my wave comb. That's it. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's done. Mm hmm Yeah, go. Okay. Have you got oil ready, haven't you? Yes. Okay. So you said to show it's very fresh red meat you said, didn't you? Any waters at all? No, I don't think so. I'm in the bath at the moment. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, I have been. Okay. Maybe your husband can get you some paracetamol. Mm -hmm. That's going to take a while to work and you might need that when you come in. Are you planning on, did you want to come in now because you're, you're in the bath? Yeah, um, right. I, I can do. I was just going to ask about, um, I'm, I think I'm supposed to be giving birth on labour ward because of the risk of bleeding. Yeah. Um, but I'm aware that you have a pool. Well, that you discuss that with them when you get in. Okay. They won't want to cannulate you before you get in. Yeah. You're at the ambulance bay, so I don't even know if anyone's in there already. Okay. Um, okay, any trouble with your vision or parts in your head? Uh, no. Okay. Are you happy with baby's movement? Yeah. Okay. And anyone in the house got diarrhea, vomiting, or COVID? No. In the house, no? No. Get another one now? No, I did. I did. Okay. I did respond. I don't know what happened. Okay, that's alright. Okay. Right. Um, let's just now. When did you last have something to eat and drink? Um, I've been drinking the whole time. Water. Um, I ate okay. at about half seven this morning. Okay, you probably need some calories there. Okay. Uh, what's your childcare plan? My mum's got my son. Oh, so it's already in place. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and have you got child support to come in? Yes. How long is the drive in? Do you know? Um, about 25 minutes, half an hour. Okay. All right. Just wait for this next one. Do you find it the bath useful? Obviously, that's what you want to use the pool. Yeah, yeah, I love the bath. Yeah, I mean, the QA where I work, we would probably want to cannulate you. Yeah. Um, just before you get in. Uh, we've got a voice that to get you out of the emergency, but you can, I don't know if anyone's in there. Yeah, yeah, I know that's Yeah, how long was your labour last time? Little one? Uh, very long. Very, very long. Um, yeah, four sets in the end, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully it's going to be much quicker. Yeah, hopefully. Praying. Okay, okay. I'm getting a contraction now. Oh, 
Currently on the gas in here. Ooh. How are we doing? <laughs> She's doing really well, really well. So I'm looking at myself over here, I'm not used to talking into a camera. Mm. Tell them how many centimetres I am. Seven centimetres dilated after Nothing. just paracetamol, yeah. She's doing really good. Oh, thank you. She's been out my hand a little bit though, can't I? Yeah, I did that to the midwives last time. Yeah, not good enough. I swear by this. I swear by it. Wave I can, cone. I can taste that donut. I had a donut on the way up here and it was really yeah. nice. And I can taste it now. God, this does make me feel like I've got to like be careful on it. Yeah. It makes you feel a bit... Woo! Woo! It's my corner. My chair. My mum slept on that for, a rec for like mm -hmm. two days. I don't think we'll get to that point, I can imagine. I reckon we'll be here. Well, I don't know, I'm not a professional. I reckon maybe. I don't know, but things are ramping up. Mm. Fast. Yeah. So this is going to be the beginning of my trying to get pregnant. I just have a feeling it's going to say not pregnant. Mum, 
Nanny's recovering, kind of. I don't want to, don't, don't want to see my nipple. I'm about to have the tea and toast, the legendary tea and toast. She's feeding at the moment. She latched straight away, oh, no, like I, instantly, wasn't it? I cannot believe that. Oh. I literally cannot. It's alright, you can't see. Let me hold it. I cannot believe it that she latched literally instantly. Mm. It's actually mad. Obviously, I'll go through like everything that happened a little bit later on. Um, it was very quick. She was born mm. at one thirty-eight. Yeah. 1.38. I couldn't even think about getting Charlie to film it because I was just mm. an absolute like I was, I was I roaring. About it, but I was like, I'm not going it. What, why on earth would no, I need because, you now? No, because no, because yeah, I needed you camera. and I needed the fan and yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, she's like she's feeding again. Hungry yeah, girl. Hungry lass. Hungry lass. I'm about to have the tea and toast. So excited. Oh hello. Howdy there. Would you have known that I'd literally just had a baby? Stuff in my face with toast and the tea. Ain't that a nice mug? Oh, it's a lovely mug. For a hospital, you would think it would be in like a little white thing. Hmm. What a lovely mug. A couple hours. Mm. Incredibly warm. Surreal. Yes. And warm. Thank you. Incredibly warm. Incredibly. Yeah, surreal is there. Surreal. <laughs> oh, and I'm up and about walking already. Yeah, that's mad. Man. Crazy. I know probably like most women do that, but for me it's like, considering yeah, the experience I had the first time, yeah, it's very different. And this is my bump, a couple hours in. Practically non existent. None of you know yet either because I won't be announcing for a couple of days. I've got some content lined up, some fake content. <laughs> well, it's not fake, but I actually have like a midwife um, video and everything that I'm gonna have to post after, like I announce. Um, Otherwise, I won't be able to announce for literally like a week because I've got so much 39 week content backed up. <laughs> and she's out. She as for me, I'm a bit swollen, you can probably see. Hands are a bit swollen, feet's a bit swollen. Oh, Sorry, baby. Sorry. I believe we are going home at 8 o'clock. And then we will come back tomorrow for the. Is it the nip? 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 Nip test? Nip, 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 nip. The test that they get, like, to check everything. all the baby, yeah. Come back at two o'clock tomorrow for that. That wild that I get to go home on the first night. Mm. Mm. Home in the morning, get the baby, come back. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> I cannot quite believe that we are back here in the same position that I started this video in and I'm sat here with my little Matilda with my little Matilda Right, I feel like I'm really low down. Let me just sit on a cushion. Right, that's a little bit better. Okay, little miss is now nine days old. It's been nine days since I last spoke to you. I still can't get over it. I still cannot get over how much of a whirlwind that entire birth experience was for me. It was absolutely everything I could have possibly wanted from birth and more. I am beyond fulfilled 
I feel so completely healed from that experience. The reason I'm coming on at the end of this video is to kind of conclude everything that happened and explain a little bit more because unfortunately I did not get the actual birth of Matilda. I didn't get the moment that I met her, mainly because I needed Charlie in that instance and I could not deal with <laughs> With him with a camera, I needed the fan on me, him holding a wet towel on my head. He had no hands to film. There was no time. It all happened so quick that there was genuinely no time for him to even pick up the camera. When I got to the hospital, you would have seen, I said that I was seven centimetres when I got there, which is crazy. I cannot believe that I got to seven centimetres with no pain relief, apart from a couple of paracetamol that I'd taken 20 minutes before in the car. And literally within about half an hour of being seven centimeters i said to charlie i need to push i was like i need to push and he had to it was all very dramatic it was literally like a movie i'm not even joking he ran out of the room to grab a midwife I was like, she needs to push she needs to push. midwives came back in and i said i was like i feel like i need to push which is a feeling that i'd never felt before because with my firstborn alfie i had an epidural so oh, sorry i'm absolutely boiling today it's literally one of the hottest days of the year it's like 28 degrees <sighs> i'm absolutely sweating and my hair is going everywhere so obviously i didn't know what that feeling would feel like to need to push because i hadn't felt it before and i kind of just felt this pressure all of a sudden and i was like no way do i need to push now because i'm only seven centimeters and obviously you kind of you get to like 10 and then you need to push i think you're so awake she's so awake she's usually really sleepy at this time I, the midwife came in like running in and i was like i might be being dramatic i was like i might be making up but i feel like i need to push and um she was like oh it's all right blah 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 and then it got to the point where i was like no i need to push like desperately need to push because they they basically said to me they were like if you like try not to push because i don't know whether i've actually said this already in the video my waters never broke they never broke i had something called cow birth i want to say is it a cow birth i literally have just put it on my instagram saying that something rare happened in matilda's birth and a few of you popped up and was like oh was she born in her sack exactly what happened so my waters never went with matilda which is so wild because with alfie they it was the first sign of labor i had no signs of labor with alfie and then i just literally woke up to my waters being everywhere well as with matilda my waters never went i only lost my mucus plug and then kind of going back to the timeline in the story when i said that i needed to push they were like you know try not to push but if you feel like you need to just go with what your body is doing and I definitely felt like I needed to, so I was pushing. And every time I was pushing, I could feel like little like trickles. So I was like, oh, my water's gonna go, my water's gonna go. And I remember one of the first things I said to the midwives when I said I need to push was, is she gonna be okay if I push her out and my waters haven't gone? And they were like, yeah, but it's super rare. Like your waters will definitely pop as the baby's coming out and stuff. So every time I was feeling these little trickles, I was like, that it's gonna happen my waters are gonna go any second and they never did now i didn't see her come out she she came out face up which i had no idea about which somebody needs to tell me is that back to back because if that's back to back i was never told that she was back to back um i had literally no idea what are you supposed to be told that they're back to back i don't know oh big burpees big burpees so she came up she came out face up in her sack and Charlie described it as like, <laughs> it makes me laugh. Charlie described it as like her face was like squashed up against the sack and then they popped it and yeah, she was freed from the sack, which is called a mermaid birth. Apparently it's so, so rare. And I feel like maybe I'm gonna look like an idiot if it, if it isn't that rare but if you actually look up one of the rarest things that can happen in birth it actually says that a lot of people a lot of midwives and doctors and stuff in their career have never seen that happen because it's quite a rare thing and i'm pretty sure the statistic is like one or one in eighty thousand or something and someone like me who is a quite a spiritual girly i quite like the idea that she is protected and 
that it is such a rare thing and if you look it up online it says that they are sort of like protected through their life and stuff and I just think that is such a sweet meaning regardless of whether you believe in that or not I think that is such a sweet meaning but yeah she's my little mermaid girl born in her sack at 1 38 p.m we got to the hospital at about 12 30 and she was born an hour later absolute whirlwind I still cannot get over that all of that happened so quickly she was born six pound 15 perfect little healthy girl aren't you perfect little healthy girl she's still exclusively breastfed at the moment she's literally just had her midwife appointment today and they said that she is now seven pound six which is actually one ounce bigger than what alfie was at birth which is wild because the, this is literally like the size of alfie in in me and i think that she's absolutely huge now compared to when she was first born we were discharged late at night and i actually left my camera in my mum's car we got back and had like a dominoes and everything but the first night as a family in the flat which was so nice because i did not want to stay in that hospital for another second i'm not gonna lie the care this time amazing compared to last time i genuinely could not fault a single midwife that i saw well as last time it was absolute hell <laughs> absolute hell to say the least i would 100 percent do that birth over again in a heartbeat compared to my first birth obviously i'd go through it all again to have alfie but you know what i mean just an absolutely amazing experience through and through yeah it is a shame that i didn't get like i didn't get the moments of like the first moments of when she was put on me but i didn't even cry my emotions were just so numb because i was so focused on pushing her out nobody can prepare you for that nobody can prepare you for that <laughs> i would pick all of that pain over an epidural any day of the week purely because when i look back it is just like magic it is like absolute magic i would do it with just gas and air all over again yeah i just thought that i would kind of conclude oh you're not very happy i just thought that i would conclude this vlog off i think she's actually getting hungry are you hungry you want some milk just sitting a little bit lower because she's feeding now yeah the entire experience was just so incredibly magical i'll probably touch on it a little bit more on like tiktok and stuff and go through a little bit more of the details because I'm not going to sit here and go through absolutely everything that happened because a lot of a lot of it you've seen anyway <laughs> but there were certain parts like when I was stood outside the hospital oh my god I was actually roaring at the public I'm not even joking I was stood there roaring at all these people on a busy Saturday sunny afternoon in the middle of Southampton which is super busy and I was just stood there just absolutely roaring at everyone who walked by me so if you walked by me then i deeply apologize i also just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who congratulated me it was the it was the loveliest thing i was a little bit delayed on my platforms and i did that on purpose because i just wanted some time to sort of soak everything in so i posted like my early labor video like the day after i'd even given birth and then lots of you were commenting like, oh my God, good luck. Like you've got this and stuff like that. And I was like, little do they know that it's literally already happened. It's all over. But it was lovely to see everyone's like word of, words of support. And yeah, I just felt super loved. And yeah, I just can't thank you all enough for all of your congratulations, your support, your never ending kindness. I just wish I could go back and do it all over again. I really do. I just cannot believe that, that is all over. But yeah, I did just kind of want to come on here and conclude this vlog off and sort of make it make a little bit more sense. I mean, I know you've kind of seen what's happened, obviously because I didn't like capture her coming out and stuff like that. I just wanted to explain. Also the fact that I was very up in the air on Gassinet when I was explaining stuff. So I kind of just wanted to <laughs> explain that it's an amazing experience through and through very proud of myself very proud of charlie for being the best birth partner i could possibly have asked for but yeah it's all done and dusted guys it's all done and dusted if you have any more questions i know somebody has asked me to do like a birth comparison of like the different things that i had 
first time around compared to the second time and honestly they couldn't have been more different so i'm gonna do that probably for tiktok or i might do it for youtube i'm not sure yet not fully returning to youtube yet i feel like i haven't really taken enough time off this is just kind of going up to explain exactly what happened because i know a lot of you have been asking but bear with me it's very very difficult trying to get out content with a newborn a toddler i'm trying to keep up to date as well because i don't want to be too like laggy otherwise you're all going to be like what the hell i'm doing my best but bear with me but yeah i do think i'm gonna end this birth vlog here and that was how my birth with my second child went you guys were there for 90 percent of it which I absolutely love. I'm so glad that I got this footage and that I filmed. Such an amazing thing to look back on. Just wanna say another huge thank you to all of you. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in the next video, whenever that will be. Mwah. Bye.